What is Alpha Evolve? So there's this new tech from DeepMind, and it's called Alpha Evolve. Sounds cool, right? But what exactly is it? In the simplest terms, it's an AI system that can write and improve computer code all by itself. Now, wait a second. That might not sound crazy at first. We've all seen AI write a bit of code here and there. But Alpha Evolve doesn't just write random lines. It discovers completely new algorithms, ones that even expert human programmers haven't thought of. That's next level. How does Alpha Evolve work? Alpha Evolve works by combining two powerful ideas, large language models, LLMs, and evolutionary algorithms. So here's the deal. First, it starts with some existing code, maybe for math or computer hardware, or even for training an AI model. That piece of code goes through something called evolution. Just like in nature where animals evolve to become faster, stronger, or better suited to their environment, Alpha Evolve evolves computer programs. It takes working code, makes small changes to it, tests whether those changes are better or worse, and keeps going from there. And what drives these changes? A mix of DeepMind's language models like Gemini Pro and Gemini Flash that generate smart code updates. So now imagine this. It's like thousands of tiny improvements happening all the time, automatically. And the system learns what works best over time. Alpha Evolve works through a clear and efficient loop that helps it improve code over time. It starts by picking the best performing pieces of code, choosing what could be considered the MVPs, most valuable pieces. This selection process ensures that the system builds on what already works well, instead of starting from scratch every time. By focusing on the best performing code, Alpha Evolve doesn't waste time experimenting with less effective solutions. Next, LLMs, large language models, make changes to the code. These changes can vary from simplifying complex logic to finding faster or more efficient ways of doing things. The LLMs are responsible for coming up with new approaches that could improve the existing code. For example, in one of its achievements, Alpha Evolve improved a matrix multiplication algorithm, which has been around for decades, by discovering a faster method that beat the Strassen algorithm, which had been the benchmark for 56 years. The ability of Alpha Evolve to come up with such innovations shows how powerful this process can be. After these changes are made, testing comes next. Each modification is carefully tested to see if it makes the code faster, smarter, or more efficient. It's a critical step because only the improvements that show real progress are kept. If the change doesn't work, it's discarded. This keeps the system from holding on to any unnecessary or unproductive ideas. The cycle repeats and with every new loop, the system gets smarter and better at improving code. In fact, Alpha Evolve has already boosted Google's infrastructure, increasing data center efficiency by 0.7%, and improving AI training times by up to 23%. This loop doesn't just improve the code, it improves the entire system it's applied to. Why it's a big deal. Alpha Evolve isn't just improving random bits of code, it's actually helping in real world applications. And the results, pretty shocking. Google uses something called the Borg system to manage its massive data centers. It schedules tasks and keeps everything running smoothly. Well, Alpha Evolve found a better way to schedule those tasks. It discovered a simple 20-line rule that helped recover 0.7% of computing power across all servers. That might not sound like much, but when you're running millions of servers, that's huge. It's like unlocking thousands of extra computers without buying a single new one. Alpha Evolve doesn't stop at software. It's also improving hardware designs. Yup, it can optimize the actual logic that goes into computer chips. Take this for example. It looked at some circuit designs used in Google's AI chips TPUs and figured out how to remove 12% of unnecessary parts while still keeping the chip working perfectly. That means less power, less heat, and better speed. Alpha Evolve helped speed up AI training by improving key operations like flash attention, boosting speed by over 30%. It also optimized the Atom Optimizer reducing training time by 1%. While 1% might seem small, it translates to saving weeks when training models that run for months on powerful GPUs. These efficiency gains add up quickly, making a significant impact. It's a game changer in accelerating AI progress. Now here's where things get really wild. Alpha Evolve isn't just good at engineering stuff. It's also solving deep theoretical math problems. 
stuff that experts have been working on for decades. Matrix multiplication is a core operation in AI and graphics. It's been studied for years. One of the best known methods, Strassen's algorithm, was invented over 50 years ago, but now Alpha Evolve found a new way to multiply 4x4 four four complex matrices using only 48 operations, beating Strassen's 49. A breakthrough that hasn't happened in half a century. Kind of makes you wonder, what else is out there that we thought couldn't be improved, but just hasn't been tried by the right AI yet? Ever heard of the kissing number problem? It's about how many spheres can touch another sphere without overlapping. Sounds simple, but it's a massive puzzle in high-dimensional geometry. For 11 dimensions, the best-known lower bound was 582. Alpha Evolve pushed that up to 593. It beat mathematicians at their own game. Crazy, right? Alright, so, what makes all this possible? Let's look at the technical side. Don't worry, it's not too hard. Users can mark parts of their code using something called Evolve Block. This tells Alpha Evolve, hey, you can change this part, but leave the rest alone. Then the system knows exactly what it's allowed to play with. This keeps things under control and avoids breaking the whole program. Once changes are made, they go through evaluators. These are like judges that score the code on speed, memory usage, accuracy, or other goals. The best results go back into the pool. The weak ones get tossed. Sometimes improving one thing messes up another. For example, a faster algorithm might use more memory. Alpha Evolve can handle multiple goals at once. It finds smart trade-offs between different needs, speed versus accuracy, size versus complexity, and so on. It does this using a combo of strategies called MAP elites and island models, which help it keep a diverse set of good solutions instead of focusing too early on just one. Another cool thing, Alpha Evolve doesn't start from scratch every time. It remembers what worked before. It looks back at past problems, pulls out useful tricks, and uses them as inspiration for new challenges. This means it can solve new problems faster because it has a whole toolbox of smart ideas from earlier runs. So now that Alpha Evolve is out there doing wild stuff, what's next? Researchers think it could be used in chemistry, biology, even material science, like optimizing new battery materials or helping with drug discovery it's already showing promise in protein folding. In early tests, it helped speed up AlphaFold's calculations by 8%. And that's without making the results less accurate. This isn't about AI replacing humans. It's more like AI as a partner. Engineers can guide Alpha Evolve by giving it starting points or limiting what it changes. That way, humans still control the big picture, and the AI does the grunt work of testing a million variations. Think of it like a super-fast lab assistant that never sleeps. Alpha Evolve isn't just about faster chips or smarter math. It's showing that machines can help us discover completely new ideas and do it in ways that are still explainable and useful. It learns fast, tests hard, and gives us better solutions than we thought possible. And yeah, it's just the beginning. Who knows, maybe in a few years, the next version of Alpha Evolve will be designed by Alpha Evolve itself. Would you trust an AI to design the next generation of AI? Think about it, and maybe drop a comment with your thoughts. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.